Hey there, Age of Sigmar fans, Josh back to bring you another, well, Age of Sigmar battle report. Today I will be busting out the smelly rats, instead of the monster rats, to take on George and the big wah. 2,000 points, let's check out the armies. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Age of Sigmar battle report. Let's take a look at 1,980. 80 points of the smelliest rats to ever exist. Starting off in the middle here, I've got my leaders. Uh, so we have a two plague priests on plague furnaces. So the one that's uh, not broken is gonna be my general. So command trait is high priest. He's got a blade of corruption and the prayer is gonna be rabid rabid. His friend that is, uh, you know, he lost his little plague symbol thing. Uh, he's also gonna have rabid rabid and a hand carved nullstone icon. The two plague priests up front, nothing special there. We got disease, disease on one, filth, filth on the other. Battle line choices, I got three units of plague monks. Um, it's been a hot minute since I've played clay and pestilence and apparently I have to take them in 20s now. So I, uh, I've i just taken three units of uh, 20, we'll see, I don't know. I might get around to reinforcing them and trying them a different way eventually but not today. We move on from them over to my artillery. I've got a pair of Plague Claw Catapults because I think they're neat. Two reinforced units of Plague Sensor Bears and then uh, two units of uh, Rat Swarm. A good chunk of this is in a uh, battle regiment and uh, how many points are you sitting at over there, George? Same, 1980. Well, no triumphs for either of us. And now we're looking at 1,980 points of Orcs. Wow, give me the features. What am I playing against? This is the greatest uh, big wah, uh, God Beast Hunters, the Mortal Realms I've ever seen. It's a motley crew of pretty much all the factions represented. Uh, Gobsprack uh, just joined the forces here, just got him done from the swamps. Uh, we are looking at uh, basically two units of Gorgruntas. I got a big pig with Hacken crew here to see what he's, he's going to do. Uh, just further south here, we got the... Mega Boss with Destroyer uh, Axe. Uh, War Chanter. War Chanter with the Get em Beat. Everyone's favorite, Wurgog Prophet with the Glowing Tattoos. My General, the uh, Weird Knob with Hand of Gork. And another War Chanter with the Healing Beat, the, the Fixin' Beat. The three main battle line in this army is two units of 10 uh, orc boys with stickas and the new unit of ard boys with stickas. So we'll see how these guys do with their three up save. Scenario for today is lines of communication. So pretty simple here for scoring. Uh, one if you control one objective, a one if you control two or more, one if you control more than your opponent, and then two if you complete your battle tactic. Special thing about this is the disruption rule. So at the start of each battle round, after determining which player will take the first turn, the player taking the second turn can pick a phase to disrupt. During that battle round, each time a model in their opponent's army receives a command in that phase, uh, their opponent rolls a dice on a three up, they gotta spend an additional command point. And then the opponent can choose whether or not to spend the additional command point. If they choose not to spend the additional, uh, command's not received. And the command point that was spent to issue it initially is still lost. And here we go. We are lined up, deployed, and ready to go. So swarms. Uh, I got plague monks hanging out with one of my catapults. Plague monks, my general. And some sensor bears. The two priests. The not general. Plague monks, sensor bears, catapult, and uh, a couple more rat swarms. Over here, I don't actually, I can't remember the names of half of these guys. So uh, we got uh, medium sized piggies, we got the big pig, gobsprack, um, some of the uh, savage boys there with a war chanter behind them. Uh, we've got your mega boss hanging out with some ard boys. Good, I'm getting it. And then whatever the caster is in the back there. Um, and then very similar over here, but, uh, Mr. Laserbeam hiding in the middle, don't think I don't see him. Now, I know you do have some capabilities to turn one charge me, um, but I think I'd rather have that happen than have you just, uh, charge me after I've moved up. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, give priority to you, and, uh, we'll see what Big Wah turn one looks like. 
Alrighty, over to you, hero phase. What are we gonna do first? All right, so start of the turn for big wall. We're gonna try to get some wall points. Okay. I'm going to get uh, three already for my war chanter and my uh, other wizards, but because my general's alive, I'm gonna get an extra d6. So I get four plus three as I'm at seven wall points to start the turn, which is good. We're also going to uh, roll for some uh, primal dice. Yep. Yeah. So we don't get one. Uh, we don't get another one, but for my uh, my battalion, Antorians is going to give me one on a five. So okay. I have one primal dice to use for the magic phase, which uh, the hero's phase now, which I'm probably going to do Master of Magic. Uh, try to cast a spell with this guy yep. and have it not be unbound. All right, what are we thinking for a heroic? Uh, I'm probably going to get uh, an extra wall point. I just have to roll... Uh, Two plus, and I get one. Yep, you I get, get an extra wall point, so I'm at eight. Okay. Um, I'll have, you know what? He's going to try to say no spells right here. The only one I'm in range of is uh, Mr. Laserbeam, but uh, hey, you can try to shut down the spell casting a bit. And that brings us over to casting proper. All right, with my general, who's Master of Magic, I'm going to try to cast uh, Mystic Shield and put onto these Ard Boys right here. Makes I need, a lot of sense. Need to get it on a five. I get it on an eight. I'm not going to bother with my extra primal dice. I'm just going to take my uh, one cast and take my battle tactic right, right away. Nice. That will bring us over to movement because you don't want to cast anything else. Mm -hmm. I want to take any risks. So we'll show you where everything currently is and where it all ends up. And here we go, movement is done. Basically just kind of mostly ran the entire line up. You don't have any um, shooting. Uh, you don't have any charges. So that's gonna be the end of the turn for you. But you do go ahead, take all of the objectives easily enough, complete your battle tactic, and that's a five point turn for you. Yep. All right, over to my turn here, battle tactic. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go for the surround and destroy to make it super duper easy. <laughs> and uh, to not overthink it too much, because I can get that easily with my little rat swarms. And then, uh, uh, heroic, I don't really care a ton. We'll just try to go for an extra command point onto the um, general there. Huzzah, I get it. What about for you? Sam, uh, this guy, Yep. CP. Fail. No, good. Well, moving over to my prayers. I think we're gonna go rabid, rabid on the general. Uh, he gets a huge plus to this and he gets to re-roll it. So uh, let's just see if I roll a one. Okay, that was neat. Uh, he gets his re-roll. And there we go. A great plague is unleashed. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just gonna be the never plague just so I can uh, re-roll my prayers across the board for the rest of the game now. Good. Oh, slap that into the unit there. We're gonna go for a filth, filth. And I think that's still more than enough to get it, because again, they get a bonus for having other ones nearby. And that's probably gonna go onto the same unit, if I'm being honest. They're gonna get plus one to wound. I honestly think that's it for my hero phase. Uh, I'm realizing how long it's been since I've played, played these guys, because I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go over to my movement and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. I've moved up. Uh, went to go take the objectives. Um, I've got flank, flank over there, and then obviously catapult hanging back to get me some points. Um, yeah, I'm not counting on a double turn. I'm trying to set up that I can make use of it, but you're just going to charge the heck out of me anyways, and I can't just not score points. So we'll push the middle and we'll just see what happens. Um, so over to shooting, we're going to have, uh, we'll go catapult v... The uh, Savage Orc Boys there. So let's see if I can't hit you. I do hit you, because I believe I get plus one to hit if you're 10 or more. I'm exactly 10 models. See if I can't wound you. Okay, mm. no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I just need to roll two two-ups. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fling uh, crap at this other unit over here. Let's see if I can hit him. I hit him. I wounded them this time. Uh, it's minus two, so they're on a five up base save, right? Uh, yeah, I'm getting my 10 ward saves ready. Okay, it's 2d6 damage because of the yep. unit size. It's only oh, seven. seven. What a very average roll. So seven ward saves. Seven ward saves, kills six of them. Yeah, not bad. So three dead, two wounds each. Not bad. 
And now that's all my shooting, so you owe me a battle shock test on them at minus two to your bravery, essentially. Yeah, so I'm gonna spend a CP to pass and automatically. Pass, yeah. Okay. yeah, I was hoping to hit both units and force the thing, but uh, you know, that was wishful thinking. So that's it for my turn. Um, I do achieve my battle tactic, and I control the three objectives now. So it's a five point turn for me. Uh, this, so the score is five five. <laughs> Big old priority roll now, you win ties. <sighs> A six! Oh no! <laughs> rats! The rats are in here. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's go for it. Let's go rats turn two. Alrighty here. So, uh, battle tactic, we're going to go for the crescendo, so I got to get three prayers off. Should not be a major issue. Um, and for my heroic, I only got the two CP right now, and you're messing with me in the charge phase, right? So, do I just go for the extra command point? Yeah, I think I go for the extra command point on the not general here. And he does get it. What do you want to do for yours? Sam, going to try again. Yes, he gets one this time. And over to my prayers. I think I'm going to start here with Pestilence, Pestilence. And that is enough to go off, and also enough for a Great Plague to go off. That guy right there has now got the Red Mob Plague. So long story short, um, if he's close to your guys and not close to mine, every combat phase, he's friendly for me. So have fun with that. Um, and then, uh, oh geez, that's funnier than it should be. Then I actually get to resolve the, uh, the thing itself. So I'm gonna pick this point here and try to see if I can do some Mortal Wounds. So a four up for Mortal Wounds onto the unit. Nope, and Mortal Wounds onto him. No, okay, well, that works though. It's still kind of hilarious to me. And then let's uh, pray to give them some better uh, wounds. Hey, I get it. And let's pray to give, ah, uh, hmm. Or should I give the better to wound back here? No, yeah, on that unit up front. And also to give them more attacks. And that's from Buddy Boy here. I'll take my reroll. And there we go. Look at that, all my buffs are up. Well, that's my hero phase, so let's, uh, yeah, let's get on to movement. Before we move on from the hero phase, a mini we're getting first, I'm gonna remember my uh, Book of Woes. So that's the, the stupid little mortal wound thing under these units. So we'll start over here. I'm gonna pick a unit within 13 and try to mortal wound them. Let's pick on the Wurgog Prophet. Oh, he takes D3 mortal wounds. How does he like it? Two mortal wounds. He's got a four up ward. Four up ward. Makes them. Okay, well, uh, we're Tattoos. using up some of it. We're <laughs> using up some. Uh, we're going to go over here. We're going to hit the Ard Boys with it. Okay, D3. So they're going to take three mortal wounds. That's going to kill one and another. Sure. One and a wound. I count up with my wounds. Uh, if you can keep track, I'm, it's good enough for me. And over here, we're going to try to hit the unit of uh, Gorgruntas. I do. For two mortal wounds onto them. Take that. I feel so accomplished. Okay, now we're going to go over to movement. And here we go. We are moved. So this whole blob has went this way. The rats have come over to kind of block this gap a little bit. Um, moved everything up here. Moving up here, again, these little rat swarms decided to run. There was a redeploy, and you were able to redeploy two because of the, it's his rules, right? Mega boss rule, yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these guys uh, decided the boss was looking at him kind of funny. <laughs> Didn't like that, so they re redeployed back. The boss redeployed, and you were able to get him pretty far up, but not far up enough that I can't, I don't know, maybe swing at the boys. Uh, I just gotta make sure I stay out of combat there. So now we're gonna go over to shooting. Trying to figure out who I want to bully. I'm really scared of Mr. Laserbeam. Ah, uh, it feels like such a waste to throw stuff at him, but I think I'm going to, because I just want him off the board, because I know he's going to just demolish one of these units. Um, and I don't want that. Uh, even though, wow, it's more wounds. It's not like I have a save. Jeez, uh, Rick. Yeah, whatever. I'm picking on Gobsprack. Starting over here. Three to hit. Okay, over here, three to hit. I hit him, gonna wound him on two. 
Okay, cool. He's minus two bravery. Ah, oh, whatever, stupid catapults. <laughs> Some people would have done better against anything else either. That's the worst part. So we're over to charges. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start having this big unit here do a charge. And they go a grand total of nine. I think it might be 10 inches. I think they get a bonus for their musician. Ends up looking something like that. Now let's have the sensor bearers go ahead and declare a charge. They're gonna get to go six. As much as I'd rather have them in, um, I'm just going to accept that that is the way it is. And then over to here, uh, we're gonna have this unit of sensor bearers go. I had to roll an eight to make it into the pigs over there. That's a five. So I'm gonna spend a command point and see if I can make them go a little bit faster. On a three up, it's gonna cost me two. So no, it just cost me one. And actually I'll use his to be giving that out. All right, let's see if I can hard roll an eight. <laughs> Come on, little rats. There it oh. is. <laughs> I make it. Well, we are kind of thinking about the best way here. I would have been happier if they had gotten in, but at this point, I don't care. When in doubt, attack. Send these little rats in. <laughs> they go 13. 13! God. All right, so that looks like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I will declare a charge on the general and we'll see what happens. An eight? I don't think he makes it, but he might. He's just out. I needed to show a nine on that. Okay, um, so I think that's all my charges. And now we go over to the combat. Hmm. I have been informed that what I must say is I'm popping the destroyer axe. <laughs> so Red Mob Plague, he doesn't have any of my guys within three and he's got some of yours within three. So I get to treat him as friendly. You don't treat him as enemy. So as far as I can tell, you don't have to swing at him or anything like that. But uh, I'm probably gonna have him go first because otherwise these guys can go and pile out of the way. So instead, no, he's gonna go. He's gonna pile in and swing. Uh, does he hit on twos? Uh, if he's friendly to you, I don't know if he does anything like that, but he's threes on threes. Yeah, I don't think he has any bonuses. He's gonna all at attack. Then it's twos and threes. What are, you, what are you doing, boss? What are you doing? So this is eight attacks going in? Yep. Okay, hitting on uh, twos. Okay, I missed with one. Okay. And then what's he wound on? Threes. Okay. Uh, okay, I filled three of those. You only have four saves to make then. Four saves at negative one. Yep. They wouldn't have known to all a defense. But they're Mystic Shielded, yep. so they're on a three-up save. So gotcha. four three-up saves, five damage each. We got five damage. Okay. So that should kill one off and two more? Yeah. So it kills this guy and then two more. Gotcha. It dodged a bit of a bullet there, but at the same point, um, I kind of dodged that bullet to a degree too. <laughs> to and we're going to go with the Gore Gruntus here. So we'll figure out what you can get in and uh, go from there. Alrighty, so we're gonna start by swinging it. Uh, so this pig is swinging into here. These two are trying to put their attacks in here, but this pig is out of range, but the rider can still hit me. Yep, so I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna go the pig into these guys. It's gonna yep. be threes and threes. That's a good start. All hits, uh, all Strong wound, no rend. Okay, let me check. Looking for six ups. I passed one, so I know I'm That's losing good. three, but that I mean six. Okay, what are his other attacks? The uh, spear. Uh, it's threes and threes again. So this is a negative two rend, so that's probably four more damage. Yep, so ten. And plague so sensors? That's ten under here. I'm gonna resolve this real quick. Sure. And blow a couple of them up. So we're gonna go for the five that are close to the pig there first. On six is mortal wounds to you. There's one mortal wound in there. And then there's gonna be uh, some over here that are doing the same thing. By the same thing, I mean dying. So no mortal wounds to that unit. Oh. Okay, I know the unit's not tough, so let's see what happens here against the uh, sensor bears. Now, remember, you're minus one to wound them. Okay, so it's gonna be threes and fours. Threes, Ooh, we Stop love it. hitting with everything. And fours, Soul Wars dice. Oh, none. There we go. Phew. And the pig. 
is, uh, yep, threes. Okay. And fours. Two. two winning hits. Two, no rend. No rend. Uh, I think I still get six up saves. Pass one, fail one. So just two damage. Yeah, so you die. Yeah, looking at options, I think we're just going to go over here and have this unit swing before they all just die. All right, so we've got a couple that are going to swing into the unit of Ard Boys here, and the rest are going to swing into the um, Savage Orcs. So the first 20 attacks into your Ard Boys. These are looking for threes and threes. And sixes to hit have potential better rend. I don't like that rule. Okay, so these are winning you on threes. So there's two at Ren 2, if we want to take care of that before I completely forget. Yep, so four ups. Sure. I uh, failed one. Failed one, okay. So, one one. And then uh, the other handful of dice. Okay. Nine more saves, but these are two ups. Yep, nine more two up saves. So, four, five, nine, two ups. Killed another two guys. Woo wee. Okay. Now I do this three times at the Savage Orcs. Uh, so the first volley, hitting on threes. Because so these four won't, uh, if they wound, they just don't give you a save. You'll have to take your ward. Okay, so we got three wounds that you're going to take ward saves. We're just going to get that out of the way. Yep, so I don't forget. three wards, two, uh, one guy dies. Okay, and then rolling the wound rolls on the rest of these. Ah, and then eight more saves. Sixes and sixes. So we got seven. Okay. And sixes again. None. So one, two, three, and a half more dead. Okay. Let's do the second volley here. Okay. Okay, the sixes. All wound again. Uh, wards. Nope. Okay. So that's None. another two guys dead. Another two dead, yep. And then. Uh, Another bunch of wounds. That's nine more. Sixes and sixes. Oh, you got to start. Oof. And a follow oh my up. God, two dead. And one last volley. <laughs> Pick up all these dice. Okay. Take out. That was not a six. And that's two with no save. Yep. Killed Except one. For a ward save. Yep. And then the other ones. Can I wound you? I can. I can wound you. You owe me another five, six, seven saves. He wants nope. to live. He's trying. He's trying his darndest. Sixes. No. Yeah, you got a couple, but not enough to save him. My gosh. Down he goes. We're going to move over to here. The other Savage Orcs are going to Savage Orc it up. Ready? Right. Many attacks. Fours and fours. Okay. You got to start. And the follow up. Two. Two wounding hits. Okay, six no up armor. No! <laughs> yes. uh, kill two close by guys, and do they blow up? They don't. Take them out of the way. Okie dokie then. Uh, I guess we're going with these guys next. It's Piled in, ready to swing. Let's see what I can't do. Threes to hit you. That's a start, friend. That's a start. And then these are going to be twos to wound you. You did all at defense, right? Yep. I got some ones. Alrighty, and you go, you're back to a four up save now? Four up save, yep. Okay. Four ups. Oof. Yeah, okay. Could have rolled better on that one. Those are two damage a pop. Yeah, so 24. So he's dead. Oh. Huh. There's only 15 wounds. Yeah. I had, yeah, I had twice as many attacks. I didn't even roll half of them. Well, there's less of them there now. Um. Neat. What, uh, oh, it's your Ard Boys next, I believe. Yeah, the Ard Boys uh, have stickers, so they have a two inch reach. They're all within five inches, so they're gonna be able to get in. 
Uh, but they hit on fours and wound on threes. Okay. Let's see what you get. Four ups. Okay, solid start. Yep, and three ups. Three so, hits. Three, probably negative one rend. Well, if they're negative one, I won't get a save. So just uh, three damage. Okay, so just three damage. Yep. So three guys die, and then you want to do the shield bashes? Yep, and four shield bashes. We have one mortal. Okay, so that's four dead. Yep. I'm going to pull the ones close by. No mortal wounds to you. Okay, doesn't look awful. I get to swing over here. That's kind of neat. And these are just threes and fours. Huzzah! Okay, so if those ones wound, you don't get an armor save. Okay, all but one of them wound. So that's three, six. Uh, and then the rest of these. Never mind, there's only five there. And then there's a grand total of six that you get saves against. Six, uh, six saves, none. Okay. So there's 11, 11 mortals. Damage. Save two, so that's nine. So one, two, three, four and a half. One, two, three, four and a half. And I believe that brings us over to Battle Shocks. Uh, I'm gonna pay to pass these guys. These guys are in the aura to auto pass. And these guys are going to have to make one. Uh, they only lost one, so on five or six models flee. Yeah, so I'm going to lose two models. And there's two less of them now. I thought they were elite, not going to lie, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And looking on your side, you're going to roll for these guys, and you're going to pay for these guys? Yeah, I'm going to pay to keep these guys. These guys are going to run automatically. Cool. Oh, so no. Yep. Oh, yeah, because they lost enough. Yeah, I lost too many. Gotcha. I'm going to lose basically D6. Well, actually, D6 models. If yeah, I roll a one, maybe we'll check the math. Nope, they're gone. Okay. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and with one fell swoop, I've removed a bunch of mine and a bunch of your models. Um, cool. Let's get uh, let's get ready. Oh, well, I guess we got a score. Uh, so I should still be controlling. So I think I still have control of uh, enough to get three points here, and then. Um, what was my battle tactic? I did it. Oh, yeah, the prayers. Yeah. Okay, so another five-point turn for the Skaven. Uh, let's get ready for turn two orcs. Welcome to orcs turn number two. What are we doing? For this turn, I think I'm going to try to play it safe. Uh, I'm just going to get my wall points up and then figure out a battle tactic. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to try to do intimidate the invaders. So I can try yeah. to just regroup my forces be outside my deployment zone, and then figure where I am. If I try to spread and go surround, I'm maybe not doing as much damage as I possibly could be doing this turn. Fair. I really got to try to punch back somehow. The Wargog mask, probably going to come off. Maybe I'm going to do a blizzard instead. Uh, maybe a blizzard and his horde clearing spell, and then really I'm just going to try to figure out what we're doing after this hero phase uh, yeah, to, to move forward. Fair enough. Uh, my, my war boss is powered up with uh, an extra attack by killing my own guys. Right. But he still has the curse. Yes. The so curse he still, still has there. the plague. So he, he's got to get into you, otherwise he's going to start killing my own guys again. That's that's a, that's a possibility. <laughs> that's a strong possibility. Um, do we know? Oh, we got to roll for primal dice and all that, right? Yeah. So I'm going to get three. I'm at nine law points now from these guys in combat at the end of the turn. Gotcha. So I'm going to yep. get an extra three plus d6. So uh, an extra eight, put, put me at 17. 17 is three away. It's basically three charges away from the 20 that I need to get for plus one to wound, hit and wound. Kay. So I'm probably gonna be doing three charges this turn. I'm probably gonna hit the magic 20. Wall points are probably gonna be good from that aspect. But yeah, let's do some primal dice. Uh, do we each get one? Uh, no. And for my battalion, yes. So it was a four up, so I think we each get one. Yeah, so room, right? you get one, I get two. Gotcha. Heroic Heroic. Action. Yeah. Okay. For this guy, it's going to be a CP. No. Okay, and I'm going to say no spells here. All right, where do we want to start with spells? Uh, first, I'm going to put the plus one damage on these guys. Sure. And I think he's going to put plus one damage on himself. Okay, and that's from their own... The chance, war chantering right? thing, okay. yeah. 
I don't have anything else. I think he's probably going to try to go into here, and Big Pig's going to try to go somewhere. I don't know. But he Fair. might, if he takes the extra damage, maybe he's okay. He's at three momentum now, so he's okay. going to run and then go to four momentum and then charge and then try to get to six momentum. And then he's going to try to do some crazy stuff. I've never seen him before, but maybe he can take out those sensor bearers. The like Wargog is not lifting the mask. He's going to try to cast... Uh, his horde clearing spell. We're gonna try it on these guys first. And that's the the hand of Gork or the foot of Gork. Fists it? of Gork. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fists of Gork. So it's his built-in spell. His built-in spell. Yeah. So I have plus one to this so far. Yep. Uh, I have a uh, nine. Okay, because ten up is the big cast of it. Yeah, ten up is big cast, but it's uh, not unmodified now. So I don't I don't get the four up already. They, okay. Yeah. So, so it's it. gonna be an unmodified. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. 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 So it's going to be immortals on a six. Because I've got two chances to stop spells. He's a level two caster. I don't think I can affect the guy in the back. And, uh, I really would rather not get stepped on a bunch. But it's only sixes. Yeah, I'll let it go. Let it go. So 20 dice on sixes. Yep. Okay, looking for sixes to kill. Yep, mortals on sixes. Ah! Two. Okay, cool. I can accept this. One, two. Going to go for the blizzard now. What are you going to show to cast the blizzard? You need a 12. You need a 12? Okay. Merciless Blizzard is a 12 with him. So I get it with a 10. Uh, already, I'm going to use a Primal Dice. Yep. I get it with a 12, and I use another Primal Dice. Yep. To get it with a 17. 17, eh? Yeah, nah, friend. Do your worst. Do the mortals. I dare you. So it's 46? Four, yeah, 46 mortals. Oh. It's going on these guys. Yep. And uh, every roll of a one, I take D3 mortals. Gotcha. So I'm not taking D3, uh. but you're taking 17 mortals. Hmm. Let me just remove the unit for you. <laughs> up, we got uh, Gobsprack, just going to try to cast a Mystic Shield. Yep. Uh, get it with a five, with a plus one. Yep, I'll try to stop that with him. Yep. <laughs> uh, I can never cast or not cast spells. Uh, I'd have to roll a three if I threw my primal dice to stop that, eh? Um, now what the heck? Uh, yeah, no shield. Get out of here. I'm so good. Okay, what's next? I think that's it. Okay, yeah, fair. That's basically it. I'm just going to try to do some movement and figure out where I want to go with the next guys. Give you guys a little sweep to show you where everything currently is. And then we'll show you where it ends up. And movement is complete. Not a ton over here, just kind of a little bit of a shuffle because I'm blocking you with the rats. Uh, moving a lot of stuff in the middle up. Um, there was some runs from some characters in the back. Off track flew up. I did redeploy to bring myself back a little bit further. And then over here, the pig ran, got uh, himself up to six momentum points. And uh, yeah. I guess we're over to charge phase. You got no shooting, right? Yeah, no shooting. I just have the uh, War Chanter here. He's going to try to do the get him beat. Yep. He's going to do the get him beat onto the Mega Boss here. Gotcha. Uh, yep. So he's going to have a 3d6 charge. Nice. Other than that, I'll try to do the charges. We'll go maybe across the board like this. So. Yep. Starting over here. Yeah. I have plus one to charge now. Uh, you make it. Eight. Yeah. This. Charge is there. Looking for two up on mortals. Yep, two mortals on the swarms. Boys. Hard boys charging. Four. Might not be enough. Uh, I think you're in, but it's not. I have a plus one, so it's a five. Oh, yeah, you can get it. Come on in. Make it to there. Charge with the big fella. Yep, big guy. Gets a ten. No, a nine. Okay. Nine will get him in. Right to there. War Chanter with a six. No problem. And then Big Pig. Big Pig, yep. He's in with a seven. Seven inch charge. All right. Oh, there's not going to be left uh, much left in the board after this round. That's turn two, baby. <laughs> well, Monstrous. Uh, he's the only monster, right? Yeah, that's the only monster I have. So this is the first time doing his monstrous action. Yep. Uh, under his momentum score, which is a six now, so I gotta roll a one to five. You take that many mortals, and then he does a fly move like a stornhorn. Oof! Of course, so no mortals. Nothing. 
He's so he's stuck in combat with these guys, which is okay. And over to Swing. You're gonna go with the pig first. Yeah, if I don't go with the pig first, he's just gonna take so much damage from the the sensor bears. Here, at least, when I I can fight before I die with the boss. Okay. Yeah, because I do have potentials to throw mortals at him with these things. Yeah. I just hit him with the big bell. Yeah. Which is funny to me. But even if he dies before he fights, he can still go. So yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So let's so, see what the pig can do. And yeah, we'll uh, figure out your attacks and where you're going to put them. Yeah. Obviously, to put everything into the sensor bears. Yeah, everything's going to sensor bears. Yeah, they're sure. kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's probably smart. Because we can fail, even though they're all on twos and twos. Uh, you're minus one of wounds, so at least it's minus one. So it's going to be twos and threes. Yep. So the Gouger Choppa Axe, which I guess is the guy on top, he's four attacks. So it's uh, twos Kay. and uh, threes. So two says negative one rend. And two damage, yeah. So it's gonna be just negative one round, two damage. So that kills two. Oh, there's six up safe? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. So all of this is gonna be no rent. So the tusks are gonna be twos and threes. That's gonna be another uh, D3. Because it's normally uh... D3 plus three damage. So four damage. Four damage. Because normally it has uh, two to wound, right? Uh, normally it's uh, three to wound. But I have plus one wound, and I'm also negative one. There you go. So it's the back and forth. Nice. Yeah. So that's enough to kill two more, because four more damage. Yeah. Then the feet. The feet are twos and threes. Okay. Uh, the feet are two more D3. Are they, do, is there rend on these or no? Negative one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So another uh, three. Three wounds. So that's one and a half. Yep. And then the two guys on the sides paying homage to the old black orcs. I used the new guys on my uh, chariots for old world now. Nice. So this is uh, the same, yep. Twos and threes. These are negative three rend and two damage each. Yeah, so that's enough. And two blow the unit up. To the wound, right? Poof. Yeah. Good yeah. stuff. I guess it's time to go with the sensor bears in the middle here because you're going to be picking them um, as a target of whoever swings next. So yeah, might as well get them out of the way. All right, let's make some swings. These are going to be threes and threes into the unit here because everything else has to go into the big guy. And you're going to all look defense them both? Yep. Yep, nice. Okay, solid start. Solid follow-up. Uh, so the unit is taking seven saves, minus one, so they're back to their three-up save? Yep. See what you got. Three-ups, not good enough, two. So that's six damage? Uh, no, 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 they're two damage apiece. Oh, so four. Yep. So two dead. And swinging into the character! Okay, we're very upset at him. And then I get to try to wound him on threes. Quite a few. It's gonna be 12, three up saves. He's dead. All right, he explodes. <laughs> okay, very good, but he gets to, does he swing automatically on death? Yeah, he fights on death. Cool. Because he hasn't activated yet in this uh, this phase, Yep. he gets to attack uh, before he's removed. Cool. He's swinging at the unit? Yeah. Presumably. What's yep. his rend? Uh, one. And one, do I bother all out defensing this? No, I don't have a command point. Oh, that's an easy solution. I spent it on a redeploy. Yeah. All right, let's see if you can hit me. Yeah, because of the Ma, uh, Red Ma curse or plague, he has an extra attack. Yes. So it's going to be twos and threes. Ooh, uh, is it normally twos and twos? Uh, no, it's normally twos and threes, but I have plus one for Big Wa and minus one for your gotcha. Nurgle. Yeah, we're back on Nurgle affliction. Threes. Hey, Ooh, yep, they're so, still probably all going to die. Yep. Uh, what's the rend? Rend is one. And what's the damage? Two damage each. Okay, so five dead. Yeah. Let me just get half of them out of there for you. Um, I'm realizing maybe I had a better wound roll. I don't know if they were close enough. It's too late to check. But hey, commenters, yeah, I should have double checked it. But that's A-OK. -okay, because uh, it's... Um, no, no, it's your swing. <laughs> I was going to say, you just swung, so... But nope, that's not how that's going to work. The boy's going into swing. Yeah, I'm going to attack this way because I have a two-inch reach. So yep. I'm going to the sensor bearers. Okay. Uh, it's going to be twos and threes again. Uh, Good start. There we go. 
Uh, nope. So... And there is rend on them? Negative one rend, yeah, but it's one damage each. Okay, so you kill one and a half. And I think it's only one guy within six, within one inch for a mortal. Nope, no mortal. I guess it's the rat swarms are going to go. <laughs> Ten attacks! Uh, yeah, yeah, that's still probably the smarter way to go. Uh, hitting on fives, I was like, oh, I had other options. I got a hit. It didn't wound. Okay, it's your go. War Chanter. Yep. Uh, These guys are negative here. one to wound too? No. All right, so it's just uh, twos and twos. Yep, twos. So four, I think no rend. Okay, so I'm gonna save. I made one. You made one, so three, so it's three D three plus three. Okay. So it's uh, five, six, seven. Seven? That leaves me with one. How awkward. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's try to do some mortals. Six opportunities onto him. Take two mortals. Mm. And then one opportunity on a big pig. Don't take a mortal. Is it my go? Okay, so we're gonna go here. Into them. Swing the big sensor at them. It hits. And that's enough to kill them on mortals, even <laughs> with the, the D3 extra. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay, cool. It's back to your pick now. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get these guys, see what I can get into range. Yeah. Their uh, spear is a two inch reach, so I don't know if I can make it even up there to make it there. No. Okay, and you're gonna swing. Uh, the rat swarms have two wounds and no save. Two wounds and no save? I'm gonna pull them. All right, two ups. You kill them. Oh my god. I could have rolled one. <laughs> That's such a bad roll. <laughs> That's such a bad roll, but it's still gonna be enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm just, unless you really, unless you need to roll for some reason, I'll just pull. No, them. no, I okay, can roll. Yeah. You can do six wounds. I've rolled six ones before. That's fair. That's fair. You got like three guys attacking them. Those poor little rats were one day away from retirement and you did that to them. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, double check. I think we're, so Battle Shock. Uh, this is pretty easy. Uh, goodbye. I would really love if he would stick around, but there's no chance of him doing so. Um, and I don't have the command point to spend. And he wasn't wholly within 13. So, yeah, scoring. Uh, you've got more than half your stuff out of your deployment. And you have one objective, because you did manage to take this. Um, and two objective. So you are going to score your five points. It's a tie game. Yep. Big roll before we go take lunch. Uh, priority. Sounds I good. win ties. You win ties. Six. No! <laughs> and a one. Okay. Are you taking priority? Rat lunch. Yep. Okay. Huh. Let's get ready for orcs turn three. Okay. Beginning of the turn, before we worry about you doing anything else, I'm going to go ahead and get my rally out of the way and uh, see if I can't get some of these lads back. Show me a couple of sixes. <sighs> Come on. Dang it. I needed that. Maybe a big pig's gonna try to kill some sensors. Maybe he's gonna try to kill some things here. I don't know. Okay. No. Well, um, do we have a battle tactic picked? Yeah. So I'm gonna pick uh, the kill the battle line. And you yep. have to kill this, kill this battle line and have no battle line remaining. Okay. I think that's gonna be my uh, uh, Iron Jaws battle tactic. And yeah, for hero face stuff, I'm going to get an extra d6 uh, wall points, plus three. So two plus three is five, so I'm at 27 now. Okay. Be pretty close to being maxed out to get my uh, automatic battle tactic. Nice. Uh, I don't know a tactic. <clears throat> battle tactic for... Let's do the between. primal hit before we forget. Primal, yep. Yeah. So no, yes, and my battalion, yes. So I have two. I have one. And you have one. I'll do my heroic real quick just to get it out of the way. Uh, the general's going to try to get an extra command point. Nope. No. And there's nobody within range of my Wurgog to do his mask, so he's yep. just going to be casting a spell like normal. Fair. What's your uh, heroic, though? Uh, heroic is probably to get a CP with this guy. Over there? Yep. Works for me? Yep, he gets one. Very good. Time for some spell casting. Yep, Gobstrax is going to try to cast um, Mystic Shield on himself. Uh, he gets which is, uh, with a five. Hmm, kind of disappointing. I've only got the one chance to stop, but i got to read how this 
null stone icon thing works. Yeah, I may as well, because he's got the, uh, I already forgot the name of it. It's the one that lets him attempt, and if he succeeds, he can try to do it again. So I may as well try to stop this. I got a, you rolled, what, a five technically? So I got to show a six. Yep. Oh! Stay <laughs> guys! I give it. Oh, well, I might as well throw this in, because it's, it's my one and only attempt. I got to roll four. I rolled a six. Yep. Cool. There you go. Okay, so I stop it. Okay, you're gonna go Fist of Gork. Fist of Gork on these guys. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, with a 10. Okay. 10, I'm going to, it makes it 11, so I'm gonna add a Primal. Which makes it uh, 12. And another Primal makes it a 13. Yeah, so I, I can't stop it. Can't stop it, no. So, okay, well, do your worst. 20 dice on fours. For yeah, 18 dice, because you already killed two. 18 dice, four ups. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's four ups. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. How many did you fail? I. Oh, is that 12 dead? <laughs> no. It's a. Uh, oh. One, two, three. One, 11? Two, three, four, ten. Ten dead. Oh, that didn't work out for me. <laughs> that didn't work out at all. Well, what's up next? So this is Choking Mist. Gobs back to an attempt to uh, pick a point here. Yep. On a casting value of seven, which I get with an eight. And then every unit within six inches gets negative one to their attacks characteristic. Okay, uh, so I may as well try to stop it because I got an additional attempt. So I, uh, I got to show a nine? Uh, yep. No, it was hopeful. Okay, so everybody here is minus one wound? Minus one uh, attack. Attack, gotcha. Attack again. Now we move over to here and... Uh, the extra damage, actually. He's gonna go Gives himself damage. the extra damage and then yep. he's gonna give them the extra damage. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, anything else? Not for the hero phase. And before we move, gonna show you where everything currently is. I whittled down your forces, but I don't know if I whittled them down enough yet. So uh, let's see where they all end up. And here's what the moves look like. So just kind of bring in uh, everybody on up. I'm gonna go pick on some uh, little rats. I'm gonna pick on a big rat contraption. Gobs rat's moving up to be, you know, a big, big old vulture. <laughs> Uh, characters in the back ran, he didn't. Piggies are in piggy charging range. So straight over to the charge phase, where do you want to begin? Yep, uh, he's going to try to make himself uh, three to six charge with his get him beat. Yep, so he's three to six charge into the rat swarms. Makes it with, with a- With an 18, sure. Yeah, with a 19. Sure. My goodness. He's having, a, he's having <clears throat> the best time. Yep. Who's the next? pig. Yep. Throw me double ones, but I'm gonna worry about it. Yep, I get plus one to charge anyways. That's fair. So he moves enough. Yep, enough to get in. Gobs rack, I'll roll a charge. I don't think I'm gonna uh, charge, but I'll see where I can go. You can go three. <clears throat> yeah, three plus one is four. I think he's okay where he is. Yep. I did want to try to get into the sensors, but I don't know. I don't know if I can uh, pile in through here to get... Uh, Might be kind of tough to make it. Yeah. Be tough. So, he's gonna go. Yep. Hit a six, we get a 12. Yeah, that's uh, good enough. And these guys need a three. And they get a six. All so right. So everyone in. The Whoa. Wah. Big Wah has done it. They got mortals on a two up. So, a mortal. That guy will die. Gonna go for a roar, are we? Yeah, gonna roar the furnace. Uh, yep. No, it's a three. Yeah, it's three. So no roar onto the furnace. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, big pig pile in. Yeah, the guy on top has four attacks. Um, negative one plus one, negative one plus one to hit and wound. First one's gonna be a negative one rend. Threes and threes. I did all out defense. I can't remember yep. if I it on camera. Oh, so three regular saves with your all defense. Brings me back to a four up. Uh, pass one, fail two, how much damage? Four damage. Okay, so five up ward. And I take three of it. And what's next? The tusks are two attacks, okay. threes and threes. Uh, this is negative three rend. So I'm not gonna get a save there. Um, uh, no, uh, six up, six up. Mwah. No, it didn't work. Nope. That's D3 plus 3. Yep. Uh, 5 damage. 5 damage total. Let's see if I can mitigate some of that. And I take 3 of it, so he's down to 9. Ok. 
Okay. What's next? Here are the feet. Four feet attacks. Uh, again, threes and threes. Uh, two at negative one, so a four up save. That's one fail one. So that's uh, D3. Uh, two more. Two more damage. Uh, take one of them. Very good. And two more attacks from the guys on the side. It's threes and threes. Uh, this is negative three, ran two damage, so a six up save. So two more damage. Oh, not one bad. One more. So we're down to seven then. Not bad. Phew. Um, well, may as well swing over here <laughs> before it all goes, uh, all goes dark. Get him, little rats, get him. All right, five attacks into him. Yep, all the defense. Okay. Uh, these are important. And can I wound you? Those both wound. Well, one of those wounds. So you have one with no rend, one with minus, or sorry, two with minus two. So two minus two or five ups. Nope. Okay. Two damage. Yep. And one more uh, save. So just two damage. And swing everybody else over there. Uh, there's one potential good one. Well, they're, they're accurate. Four is a wound. He wounds with minus two. And then the other ones are going to have five wounding hits with no rend. Oh gosh. So this would be... So uh, there's one with minus two and five with no rend. Yep, five up. Nope. And fours. Uh, so oh, that's pretty good. Two wounds. Then, uh, oh, I guess, yeah, you're going to swing over here. Swing the rats over here. Okay, let's see what you got. He's not negatives to wound, but I got six attacks. Gotcha. So he's going to be uh, twos and twos. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's uh, four attacks, no rend. Uh, how much damage is that total? It's going to be uh, four D3 plus four. Yeah, that's enough. No save. They are just gone. Rats. All right, we're going to swing into Big Pig. What? Uh, I know he took a little bit of damage. Was that a... Is that a six? No, that's his momentum no, points, right? momentum, yeah. He's uh, unwounded. Oh, I, I didn't hit him yet? No. Okay. It's 14 wounds. Four well, up save. Okay. See if I can hit him with the sensor. It does hit, because uh, it's just always on a two. It's not technically a hit roll. Uh, no. D3 plus three mortals. So six mortal wounds to mortals. him. Ouch. Uh, happy days. Yep. And you say I'm minus one to my attacks with everything over here, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so then uh, D3 minus one attacks. Okay, so it's still going to be one attack, I assume, because it's to a minimum of one. Mm -hmm. So threes and threes with my staff. I hit. I wound. This is at minus one. Five up. Oh, nope. it's one damage. One damage, okay. That's every damage yeah, helps. Yeah, this thing's not good. <laughs> every bit helps. Four attacks with my rusty spikes. Uh, these are going to be threes and fours. That's two with no rend. Two four ups. No nope. one damage once again. Ha -ha. And then I got the blades. Oh, sorry. That was supposed to be minus one rend. Did that make a difference? No. Okay, good. And then uh, the blades is going to be five attacks. Uh, these are threes and fours. Okay. Two with no rend. Two four ups. Okay, good. you make both of them. All right, I did some okay damage to him. I did what? Uh, is that eight damage I see? Yeah. Out of his how many? Uh, out of 14, six were mortals. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad. We're going to come over here and I'm going to make your life easy. These guys died. <laughs> Let's see if I can do some mortals on the way out, though. Uh, I'm going to fling all of them at the uh, pigs. Seven opportunities. Take two mortal wounds. Mm. One wound left. Okay. And then really all I can do is to pile these little guys in. And I think I can get one of them in to swing. Yeah, it looks something like that. Uh, and then swinging in, I get uh, minus one attacks, right? Yep. So here's two attacks, threes and threes. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that didn't work. That's okay. Didn't bring Gobsprack in. 
And I think that's over to scoring. Yep, no battle shock. Uh, yeah, I get my battle tactic, and I control well all Everything. the objectives. That is a five point turn for you if I've ever seen one. Let's get ready for Rat's turn three. Darn, this is going to be a tough turn for me here. I will be intimidating the invaders. Um, so that's a thing. And then let's uh, let's uh, see if I can't get another com command point on my general. Or do I just find a tower over here? He's just so bad in melee, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's try to get a command point. I don't. What do you want to do? Uh, yeah. A CP with gobsmack. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh. Don't love that. Let's go over to Prey and we're gonna do a Pestilence Pestilence with him. It works. I can re-roll it though. Because I want the, the big thing to work. But I gotta also do it with another unit. Okay, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll let it go off because I'm only getting plus three to it, which is good enough for it to work. And I'm gonna be splashing it right here. So I gotta roll for everything within three inches of it. And on a four, it takes D3 mortal wounds, unless it's me, and then I heal D3. Cool. So we'll start splashing Gobsprack. Uh, does not get splashed. The big pig does not get splashed. I'm gonna change dice. <laughs> uh, we'll do it onto the plague sensor bears. They get splashed and they heal. Well, it doesn't matter. They only heal that one. And then uh, does it splash onto my sensor bear? Or the big thing? No, it does not. I needed that to work, but it's okay. Oh, let's move over to you. Okay, number one here is going for a disease disease. And he gets it and the Great Plague goes off. Beautiful. Uh, so I got to pick a unit within 13 and I roll for every model in the unit and I do some uh, some mortals. So, uh, hey, uh, 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 Gobsprack, sure. On a five up, take a mortal wound, Gobsprack. I don't know if he has a ward. If he does, maybe it's a six. Oh. Well, there you go, look it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has a ward of six, but more importantly, I'm going to unleash the big plague that does 2d6 mortal wounds to the closest enemy, which is the big pig. How many wounds you got left? Four? Uh, yeah. Take six mortal wounds, big pig. He's dead. Boom. And now it jumps. Okay, and I'm going to bounce the curse, the bubonic blight plague, back to this guy. He takes d6 mortal wounds. He had how many wounds? Six. Six. He only takes two mortal wounds. And now the plague stops bouncing, I believe, because it has to keep killing stuff. It's funny to chain if, like, you've got a bunch of characters with, like, one or two wounds left. But it frees up these guys. Uh, so we're going to go for the... Uh, I, think he, he, I think he's got the bonus to wound we're going to throw into the sensor bears. I get it. And he's going to give them the extra attack. And I get it. And I don't feel like letting you redeploy anything, so I'm not going to... I'm Yeah, I'm going to sit perfectly still. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't see me. And start just flinging, just flinging junk at you. I'm going to go ahead and fling some poo at your uh, piggy riders there. I'm going to hit you on a three. I hit you. I wound you on a two. I wound you. There's minus two rend on those piggy boys. Six up. D6 damage for five. Ta-ta. And then I think I might do the same with the other one. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. Gonna fling the other one the same way. Threes. Nope, he misses. Now I'm just gonna go right to charging. Uh, we're gonna start with this big giant um, <laughs> plague altar. I can't remember the name. It's after lunch and I'm tired. Charge distance. Eleven. It's gonna send him up to there. Uh, my little sensor bears. I'm going to charge six, good enough. Like so. My general is going to go five. Let's check. You know what? Yeah, what the hey? Send him up. Command point. Uh, so I'm going to roll six. Ah, there you go. He's in. Hmm. No, he's going to get Gosh Rack. 
Uh, you know what? We're going to put them there, and I'm going to do my best to not destroy your cobs, Brack. Thank you. We're in. Because uh, then I'm going to charge up another little priest. Ah, he makes it. He's eager. Ah! And I'm going to try to charge the other one. Oh, they have the nine? They're out for blood! Alright, cool. What, uh... I, I don't have anything to do in the charge phase. What do you got for, um... Your rampage? I'm probably going to stomp, uh... The plague cleansers. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh... Yep. One mortal. Not good enough. Well, I think those plague sensors are going to hit you with sticks. Yep. Yep, it's the hit with sticks phase. Okay, gonna all of defense, but it might cost you an extra. Uh, roll me a three up. Yep. Yeah, it yep. cost you an extra. There we go. Okay, but you're all out defensed. Okay, these are hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Ooh wee. And show me twos to wound. Ooh, good roll. Very good roll. All right, Big Bird, uh, what's your base save? Five. So you're back to a five-up save with 11 dice. Yep. See right. what you got. 11 five-ups. No. So the three damage each? Two damage each. So I think it's more than seven. So there's, yeah, there's 16 damage, right? He's dead, yep. but I have a six-up ward. Ah. So I'll roll this twice. Yep. So sixes. Uh, I need two more and he's alive. Okay, yep. Yeah. No, he's dead. <laughs> 15 damage. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Whew. Well, that makes me feel pretty good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What, uh, it's your swing now. Yep. <laughs> I'm swinging in with this, uh, Wurgog. You're gonna get in here. Gonna pile that way, yep. Yep. These guys can still pile in anyways to get him. Like, he can probably still pile in and get yep. him. But we're gonna do what we can do our best. Um, maybe he'll do better than the big pig. Fair. One to hit and wound is still gonna be fours and threes. Okay. So fours and threes. Yep, it's a negative one. So I go to a five up. Make it D3 damage. It's three, three damage. Stop. Fine. I fail two. So he's down to five. And his one. little squeaky companion here has some attacks, which is also fours and threes. One. Another one is uh, no rend. He's fine, then. He's fine. Cool. All right. Um, well, let's try to... Okay, how many wounds does this one have left? Four? Uh, four and seven. He's going to try to get him. The one that's already wounded. Two up with the sensor. Aha! D3 plus two. Oh for three God. wounds. Perfect. Three oh, more no. wounds into him. One loon left. Okay, and then let's swing everything. <laughs> D3 minus one attacks. The one attack, threes to hit, threes to wound. It's minus one rend. T-shirt, six up. No, no, he's dead. Got him. This will uh, prevent my grand strategy too. This was my general. Good, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, neither of the lads can quite make it there, but uh, this thing gets close enough to swing the sensor at you. I can't kill you with it, but I can hurt you. It hits uh, D3 plus four for uh, six more wounds. Four up ward. Four up tattoos. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so we take four it's damage. Fail. Yeah, four. Yeah. All right, I can live with this. And that is going to bring us over to Battleshock, where I assume you're going to spend a command point here. I don't. Oh, because of the negative two? Yeah. Yeah, I will. Yeah. And I do take the middle objective from you. Uh, and I get my battle tactics. So that's a three point turn for me. So I am behind by two. But I did some good damage. Can't complain about it. And now uh, let's get ready for a priority roll for turn number four. You win ties. Oh, six again. Okay. Are you taking it? I'm going to take it. Let's get ready for turn four orcs. All right, turn four orcs. Again, combat phase is going to be the fight phase, the one I'm trying to make more difficult for you. And what, uh, do you get your battle tactic? 
Yeah, I'm going to see after we roll for the dice here. I'm going to oh, get yeah. my wall points up. So we're going to see if we get our uh, primals. Uh, no, and my battalion, yes. So, yes, so I get two. So I'm going to try magical dominance. I'm going to kill something with a spell. Cool. Specifically this thing. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. And, uh, yeah, I don't have too much else after that. Um, okay. Um, do you get your heroic? Yeah, a heroic. I'm going to try to get a CP, I guess, with uh, him. Yep. On a 2+, plus. yep, so I get a CP. Nice. And then uh, mine will be just trying to get a CP on uh, my general, I guess. I do. Yep. Okay. Okay. And I will be going for a rally, by the way. So I'm going to spend that and try to bring back some of these little fellas. Yep. Six attempts. No. Dang it. I need them back <laughs> desperately. Okay. Over to your casting. Yep. Ready? So Blizzard right here. Yep. Number one. I need a 12. Oh, a four is not a good way to start with a one, but we're risking it. Yep, I'm gonna throw them both. Uh, yep, so a five, which is a 10. Oh, oh double one, primal. primal miscast. What does that do again? It's a D3 plus three. So it's six mortals. Okay. On a four, he's dead. Very good. Now, does he potentially do damage to me too when he blows no. up with this? No, okay. I don't know. As the rats just kind of shrug, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> um, I'll let you figure. You got three models to move there and one to move there. So you figure that out and we'll be back. Yeah. All righty. The lads are closing in on either side. There was a tiny little redeploy there. Uh, we're over to charges. Yep. 3d6 charge. He's going to get it. I'm going to roll his second. I don't know what I need here, but let's figure it out. Uh, see what I roll first. Yep, an, That's an 11 will be enough. So they're going to go in 11, which is plenty. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. They're going to do mortals on a two up. Yep. Uh, two mortals, so one dead. And another one gets wounded. But um. Oh, and then there's a wound there. But um, yeah, there's a floating wound. And then he's charging. He's charging in, 3d6. Makes it. Which is a 10, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Where is this going at? Right there? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so these guys are gonna go first. So you piled in. So this guy's attacking the unit, this one's attacking the character. Yeah, just with the spear. Okay. So it's gonna be threes and threes. Uh, two at uh, negative two, two damage, so just four damage. Okay, let me check. Uno, wundo, lefto. Pigs on the sensors. Oh my goodness. So no penalty to hit, but no a penalty, penalty to, to hit? Wound. Yeah. Okay, threes. Yeah, so they so, <laughs> Yeah, you have a save, yeah, though. The six, six up saves? Is there no rend on this? No, not from the pigs, though. Okay. Well, I passed but two. eight damage. Yeah, so they're dead. They're dead. But um, but um, My character protection. But um, Well, uh, I'm going to go over here and pile this thing in and uh, swing at your beat guy. Ha! Huh. And let's see if I hit you with the uh, sensor. Ouch. I do. D3 plus two mortal wounds to him. Yeah, He's I get dead. Him. <laughs> he explodes. And now uh, this thing is going to be swinging at our boys right here. Can I hit you with the sensor? I do. For, I gotta check. And that kills both of them off as well. Splendid. Blended. Three points. Yep. And uh, it's just over to me, I guess. With that, though, your one last hurrah is over. Um, uh, right now, okay, so because you're scoring how many this right now? I'm at three, so I'm at uh, 18. 
Right. When you could get five with a battle tactic right now to tie us going into that, but I'm not going to have anything left at the end of this turn. Right. And I'm going to get my grand strategy. You're yep. not going to get yours. So I think we're safe to call it there. It is going to be a smelly rat victory. Awkward left-handed handshake. Yeah, exactly. Good game, sir. It's good. Thank and, you. And uh, we're going to get ready for the post game, which you can check out at the links down below. Uh, and if you don't want to check that out, then thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you had fun. Yep. Thanks for having me.